So last week I put out an advertisement looking for a co-host. Um, he's going to be here at the studio today, so I'm very excited to meet him. Um, he's right outside the studio right now, actually I just got a text from him. So I'm really excited to meet him. Uh, I'm on two cups of coffee right now. It's, I, this is really, I think this, this is the moment where like our show is going to get good. Cause, like, this co-host, he's, he's a genius. I, I, I looked up some of the stuff, some of his thoughts. Like we emailed back and forth, he has some great thoughts. He's, he's really, his brain is on like another level. So I'm really excited. I think that's, I think that's him. He's the guy, you can already tell he's, he's cool, right? You can already tell he's so cool. He's got this, like, he's, this guy, I talked to him, this guy for ages. He is, this guy is real smart. He knows, he knows some stuff that, he knows some stuff. He really knows some really smart stuff. Uh, let's go. I'm, I'm really excited to meet him. Uh, are you, uh, are you John? Are you John? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, hey what's up? John. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, it's, uh, it's an yeah, absolute pleasure. I mean, it's an honor, honestly. Like, oh, dude, honestly, your, your ideas are crazy. Like, your thoughts, like, that stuff we've been messaging about, that's, that's insane. Yeah, I feel like I've really, like, found some more things. Like, gets me. You know what I mean? Just like, I'm like an other Yeah, I, that's why I, I, I feel like, like, I'm feeling like there's a connection. There's yeah. a connection. Well, dude, I'm super excited to see the studio. Yeah, oh, absolutely, dude. No, this is, dude, this is gonna be, trust me, like, you're gonna have, like, this is amazing. We have a great setup. Uh, dude, I, I think you're gonna have some great experience. Yeah, I, I mean, don't, don't be nervous. Like, from what, what I've heard from your experience, like, you're gonna be great at this. Uh, yeah. No, we're a little late, I'm but. So glad that I said that to you. Yeah, of course, dude. All right. Wow. Oh wow. uh, yeah, that's um. We we're actually stationed in a military uh, base. This is sick. Military situation. This is so cool. Yeah. So, what did you say? That was cool. Yeah. Is that like a cool thing? We had like. Let's... No, we're not here. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Is that like dumb cool? Is that like? Yeah. I'm gonna be I, know I, I, I think that's a problem. We, we, I think our show could use more. Yeah, I know a lot of like, I know a lot of like urban, like, you know. Urban? Yeah, that's actually really cool. I need, uh, man, okay, he's really, he's ahead of us. I'm ready to go. I didn't sleep last night. You didn't? No. Oh, I didn't wow. sleep a wink. You ready? You ready? Oh my god, dude. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty. Wow. Wow, there's no music player. Ready? Hello. Hello. Check, check, one, two. One, check, two. check, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Is your uh, I don't think mine's working. Hello? Hello? Oh, no, we don't. Let's see, what's, what's your mic's yours? We gotta just press some buttons. Check. All right, I'll try again, try again. Check, check, oh, oh there we, we go. go. There we go. Uh, try. Are, we, are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Check. Check. Check, are we live? Are we live? Check. Check, check. All right, we're live. All right, and we're live. All right, so, uh, got a new co-host on the uh, show today. His name's What's up, everybody? His name is John. Um, it's my first day. It's his first day. We're very excited. Uh, we're very excited to be bringing him on. Um, I'm, I'm really excited uh, to have this co-host. Uh, he's cool. Um, for you guys in the audience, he's wearing uh, ripped jeans, a cool jacket. Uh, he took his sunglasses off, but earlier there were sunglasses um, on. So that, that's pretty... Um, so we're really bringing this show to a... Uh, a level. Um, so we're gonna play a, a song. Um, uh, I think uh, we we can't um we can't really play uh anything too uh too radical today. Um, but we're just gonna play some. We're gonna play some cool. Um, so we're trying to revolutionize this revolutionize this show, bring it to the youth. So I'm gonna play a song that uh, I feel like John like. Uh, does this song look good? Is this like a youthful song? Yeah, no, that looks great. Yeah, so I'm gonna play a youthful song uh, for you guys. Um, I, I think I think this song is really gonna re like like for our older listeners in the audience, um, like stay with us. It's gonna be a little 
maybe a little like youthful, right? But we gotta, we have to, if we wanna survive, we're gonna have to start broadening our markets. So um, this song uh, coming up is going to be pretty youthful. There we go. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start the archive now. Uh, I'll show you how that works, right? So we archive every show. And, oh, we get hits. Yeah. How many hits do you guys get? We get a, we get a lot of hits. Um, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but we get a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, uh, why? Yo, do you mind if I take this? I, I um, I I need one of these. I uh, I don't think it works. Oh, I'll just I can just take it. I can fix it. Oh yeah, I mean sure. I mean, I mean you seem like a cool guy, so yeah, I, I think that'll. All right. That's that's smart. Um. We're gonna archive our show now. Uh, that. Uh, so we use this? I don't. I don't think so. You, you want it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can take that. Oh yeah. What happened there? Uh, I don't know. Something happened. Whose mail is this? You guys uh, get a lot yeah, we get, like, we get a lot of mail. Fan mail? Yeah, it's like fan mail. Um, Do you mind if I read some? No, you can't read it right now. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back to the studio. Gotcha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gotta, I'm gotta, gonna leave these in like good place to leave them. Alright. Alright, great. Um, Alright, so do you, what do you, what do you, do you have any ideas of what to talk about today? Oh yeah, I have, I have loads of ideas. You have, you have loads of ideas? Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, like what? Uh, um, uh, pyramid, pyramids? I'm thinking about pyramids a oh, lot. Oh, you have? Yeah. Uh, me too, dude. Honestly, me something's happening here because I've been, I've been. Where do, where's, where do you get drink your water from? Where do you get your water from? Oh, the sink. All right. Yeah. So that's me too. So I think yeah. that's what's happening. I I've been trying to stop, but stuff in, sometimes in sink. sink water. All right. Let's um. I think it tastes good though. I think it tastes better than regular water. Wait. That's uh. One second. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the soundboard real quick. Um. So we have like a little soundboard. Uh, we play it uh, at the beginning of every show. Um, so I'm gonna have to. Thank you guys. Uh, ooh. Thank you guys for uh, bearing with us. Uh, Thank you guys for bearing with us. Uh, that was just a little song. Jack. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's all right. It's okay. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna start the show now. What's up? What's up for um? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back here at, in the studio with another MCBPZ Radio Hour. Today, we're going to be talking about some crazy stuff. We're gonna get real. Your brain is gonna, your brain is gonna break. First, we got we gotta do something really important. We we gotta do something really important. We need something very, very important. It's time for the end of the world status update. All right, guys. I got I got a, I got a letter yesterday. I got a letter in the mail yesterday, and it said the world is ending. The world is going to end on uh, this. I think it was this uh, October twenty twenty sixth. That's what I got a letter, an anonymous letter, saying that. Uh, it's it's pretty dangerous. So um, look, I'm gonna break it easy. With you. I think the only way we're gonna make it through this is if we pray together. Um, reduce your fluoride consumption. Uh, absolutely reduce it. Um, and I guess like post on the internet about it. And I think that's what we gotta do. Uh, all right. And so um, I'm introducing my co-host. My co-host, new co-host John, is in the studio today. Hey John, you wanna say some words? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, yeah, that's uh, that's my that's my boy John. Um, and if anyone wants to call in two one five eight nine eight thirty five hundred, that's always an opportunity. But today we're going to be talking about um, something really important. Something that's been on our minds, I think, a lot of the, for a long time, and I think everyone in the studio has, and hopefully our listeners has this on their minds right now. Um, but yeah, what's going on with the pyramids? 
Uh, the pyramids? Come here. Come here. Listen. Listen. If I get... If I get too nervous, okay? Just look, look at me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be, I'll be good. And like, just let me, let me rock, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry about um, that. We okay. just had a little space uh, with the With there. the pyramids... Um... Um, okay, well, so for those of you that don't know me, and some of you might, my name is John Delafranco, and I r write a blog about, um... What's your address for the blog? You want to shout that out right now, or uh, you're trying to keep that DL? It's just, it's, it's just John Delafranco, uh, writing at blogspot.com, and all, my, all of my, I write poems, and I write like little songs All but right. mostly I, I write about like the real world stuff yeah and so that you kind of you kind of talk about and basically anyone who's um anyone who who's anyone really uh knows that knows john's blog um and we get we we've been we've been accumulating a steady following over the years it's been really great so i definitely see. think like yeah john delafranco writings at blogspot.com. Yeah, and I think I think honestly, um, like us, this collaboration we're gonna do is gonna bring some crazy but, uh, energy yeah. to the show. Yeah. But anyway, back to the pyramids. Back to the pyramids. I actually visited the pyramids with my family last year. I went to Egypt. I rode the camel. Really? Yeah, I rode the wow. camel. It was really. It was a lot of fun. Wait. Um. It was like so it, it was like sixty dollars American. I didn't. I thought it was free, but the guy wouldn't let me get off the camel unless. Yeah, no, that's... I paid him $60. Uh, this guy, uh, how curly was his hair? It was very curly. <laughs> All right, yeah, that... that uh, I see, I, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm saying, like, I'm just saying, uh, you know, it's very likely that he was a centaur. Or at least, at the very least, a satyr. I didn't even think we were going to get into this high-level stuff today. Like, I'm but saying I'm there's a very... I'm super happy about that. I, I'm saying there's a very high chance that he was not... Uh, so, so uh, if, if you read uh, ancient stories, uh, ancient stories being like uh, like, like ancient history books, um, uh, fairy tales, right? you hear these stories of these men who lure you into situations and then they they won't let you get out of situations. Too big. They're like trolls, right? But they're... Um, yeah, it's a really interesting uh, s lore there, and there's a lot of lore. And those stories typically seem to like come from like ancient Egyptian writings, like hieroglyphics. Uh, yeah, I've actually I've been learning. So like three thousand. I've been 4, learning 000, how 5, to five years ago. I've been learning how to like uh, read and speak uh, Egyptian. Really, like yeah. hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to give an example uh, for the? <laughs> you want me to speak it? Yeah. You want me to speak Egyptian? Yeah. Okay, it's uh, it's uh, not. Can you, can you speak like uh, Can you speak some hieroglyphics for me? Yeah. yeah. So it's an ancient language. So yeah. not m most historians kind of disagree on what it sounded like. <laughs> but um, the uh, general consensus is that it probably sounded like this. <laughs> God. Fuck, cut, the, cut this out. Cut this out. <laughs> Save me. Oh, fuck. All right, no. Over. We're bringing not not the hour. <laughs> not the yeah. hour. Oh, no. We're going to start from the Egyptian story. We're going to do the Egyptian story. We're going to try that one okay. more time. So I was in Egypt. All right, wait. No, so I loved the culture there. I got robbed on a camel. Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, and yeah. And then you got robbed by a camel. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> dude. And, 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 dude. No, dude, stop. This is not a joke. All right, stop joking around. I brought I you got, on the show. I got robbed on the camel. I brought you on the show to be get, serious. I didn't get robbed. I brought you on the show to be serious, and right now you're kind of like laughing around and you're joking. This is not a good. This is not a good first day anymore. I think you're just a little nervous. And yeah, that's you're probably okay. right. Okay. Nervous and you're nervous. Uh, what were we talking? What were we talking about? Weren't we talking about? Oh no. Okay. Okay. So so, so you're on this. So continue your story. You're so on a camel. I was on a camel. I, got, I went. I was in Egypt. I ate the food, I saw the pyramids, which we're going to talk about in a second, and I learned I learned some Egyptian. You learned some Egyptian? Yeah. All right. What Let's say again, uh, this is ancient language. Most people... <laughs> <laughs> they don't... Ah! Most people don't know. Most right, people don't know over, this is over. even a language. 
What's the, what's the language? Sorry, one more time. Can you can you start over from the Egyptian story? Okay, right. I went to Egypt. <laughs> I went to Egypt. Yeah. I rode the camel. I ate the food, and I learned Egyptian. You learned Egyptian? Yeah. All right, very cool. This is what it sounds like. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I can. Are you okay, ready? Please, we have to start over one more time. <laughs> I'm really sorry. This is super unprofessional. Um, this is so unprofessional, guys. <laughs> Maybe we should skip this one. Maybe no, we, we should. Can't, we can't skip. We have to do it. We have to do this bit. <laughs> we have to. We have to tell this story. They need to hear the story. And just because we're nervous and we're laughing because we're nervous doesn't mean the story doesn't have to be retold. You know? Okay. Okay. We're going to... We're gonna skip right to the, to this part because we have we have the footage. Okay. We can edit it. Okay. It's not hard. Are you sure? I'm I'm positive. Okay. I'm positive. I learned Egyptian. All right. This is what it sounds like. What does it sound like? <laughs> Um, wow. That means that that's means crazy. That means hello. Is that is that real? Yeah. So like, what would be the hieroglyphic like? What would be the hieroglyphic like uh, equivalent of that? Like um, I think bird, stick, bird. bird? I'm pretty yeah. Uh, and that's can you can you repeat that? Uh, no, can you repeat how it sounds for me? I missed that. So let me try. Let me <laughs> wait. Can I? Uh, can I try uh, saying oh, it? Oh yeah, please. All right. Is it? Is it? Is so it bird. So bird. Bird stick. Bird stick. Bird. All right. I'm gonna try. Uh, this is my attempt at uh, speaking Egyptian. I. All right. Here. Here we go. Um, and uh, before I do this, I just want to clarify. I have a very high IQ. Um, I'm very intelligent. Um, so this should be really trivial for me. Um, when I was tested young, I, they gave me a great IQ score. They were like you. I almost got a hundred on the test. Oh wow! Yeah, so triple digits. Um, dude, I almost like literally aced it. That's crazy. Almost. Um, almost. Did uh, you get any smarter ever since then? Probably. Right? Probably. I mean, definitely. Maybe I'm like doing a lot of research. Could have been like doubled. Yeah, probably, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna. So this is my attempt at speaking uh, Egyptian. Uh, I'm gonna try it. All right. D d and, l and please, I love constructive feedback. All right. So give me feedback if you can. Alright, here's my the gotcha. tattoo. <laughs> How was that? Was that uh was that like anything like what you did? Uh, I think my accent you know, might that be that was not so it great. was all right. When I, the first time I did it, I definitely did it way better than you did. You but think so? I, yeah, I, I think my accent was pretty good. No, not really. No. I I just keep practicing. All right. Probably gonna need to practice like way more than I did. You're right. Oh, that's right. But uh, okay, back to the pyramids. This is this is an important part. This is important. Okay, what happened? Okay, they're magic. Boom. They didn't teach you that in school, did they? They're magic. They're magic. Whoa. That's crazy. Really? Yes. Like how? Like I fucking touched that shit. I put my hand out and I was like. <laughs> Like I just felt that shit. You know what I mean? Like you know when you just like feel that shit, bro. All right, I okay. Like so you I know you. I know you're trying to make this um, appealable to an audience, an urban audience, or like yeah. But is that should I tone it back? Just I mean, or, the or do you want more? No, no. The cussing is a little. It's a bit much. I think sometimes with the cussing, we want to keep the cussing lower. Okay, not gotcha. higher. Right. Gotcha. I'm sorry. That's all right. You're right. It's okay. It's no, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's just my m my mother is actually listening to this right oh now. Oh man, that's that. I'm bad. sorry, mom. But I put my hand on this thing, and I was like, "What? Like wicka wicka what?" I was like, "This is insane. This is I feel so much en magical energy coming off from this ancient wonder." 
that is the pier- the Great Pyramid of Giza. And I started I started asking the people like that lived there, like, what do you what do you know? Like, you, you guys know that this like is like some crazy shit that you guys live by, right? And I couldn't I can't fucking understand a single word they said. They were just like, you know what I mean? Like, you just can't understand a fucking thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, that was my last one. That was my last one. Okay. But wait, wait, so I thought you s- you're fluent Egyptian. Right? Well, no, but this that that was ancient Egyptian. Oh, the, uh, the, you the, know, the, the modern, modern the modern English. Egyptian is absolute. It, it sounds disgusting. Can you, can you give me like an example? You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of get that. You've I understand it. that. You've yeah, heard no, it. Um, I have it. There's I actually in general, just the area that area in general that that like that area where Egypt is like. There, those people there, they're not very bright. Uh, there, there's actually um like a a neighborhood full of Egyptian immigrants back back home where I live. Where are you from? I'm from Winwood, Pennsylvania. How crazy! Yeah, Winwood is filled with Egyptian immigrants. I'm I'm sorry. Dude. And they are loud. They're like bah, 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 bah. They, all day. They're it's pretty much it. That's my only complaint. Uh, but I hate them. I think the problem with I, uh, hate, I think I the problem with like, Egyptians and any Egyptians, basically generally any like I'm not afraid to say this, right? Because on the show we don't we don't pussyfoot around the truth. We don't we're not liberal, all right? We don't we don't c- care about political correctness, all right? I'm just gonna come out and say it. They're not Christian. They're not. They're well, not Christian. And that's the problem. They're not. So they're not Christian. They don't, they're they're and they know. And they, they're exposed to Christianity. They know that because they live in America, which is a Christian nation, right? And they're exposed to Christianity. But they decide to be ignorant and stick to their own backwards religion, right? I think, I think some of them are. Which is all about... I think some of them are Christian. No, I don't no, think any of them are Christian. Them no, that's, I, mean, that's, I mean, they're... They're middle... They're, you know, Islamic, uh, I, didn't Islamic, know, I yeah. didn't know that. Everyone I in that area. I was in Egypt and I didn't even know that. I don't think I'm gonna go back to Egypt. Yeah, no. It's, I, I, I was like, I'm surprised you did that. That's a risk, because it's full. Of, they're full of. I don't want Isl- Islamic kind of people, and see the problem with them is that they have the opportunity to convert to Christianity and they don't. And that's a st- that's a problem, right? We have people who are have the opportunity to research flat Earth and they don't, right? And so it's like. If you're Islamic, you don't believe in the flat earth, you don't believe in Christianity, what do you believe in? All you believe in is having multiple wives and uh, being uh, uh, bad, being not good, not a Christian member yeah. of society. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I, think, I think now is probably not a good time for this, but I mean, I have, you know, some experience with the, uh, the, uh, the multiple wives thing. I think we could have a nice discussion, like a little, uh, maybe like a little. Not debate. right now. Not no. I, I, think, I don't think. No, that I think we've gone off topic. Actually. Yeah. Back to the pyramids. So uh, with the pyramids, um, I was actually so. Did you check the pyramids for any storage, um, storing? Did they store anything in them? Was there anything stored in them, or is it just magic stored? Because I I've heard some rumors about something crazy things that are stored inside pyramids. I'm talking biological grade weapons. <laughs> well, rain, I, milk. I they didn't let me go in. I kept asking. I kept asking the guys if I could go in, and they were just like, "Bye, bye." You know what I mean? Like yeah. again with that. But um, uh, I, th- I assume with the amount of energy I felt emanating off that that thing, man, there's got to be a billions of ancient magical, possi- possibly biblical artifacts in the in the Great Pyramid. With magical properties, and the, for the first guy that decides to go in there and get that sh- get that stuff, and get that stuff. You know what's crazy? Be I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, right? But you just reminded me of this crazy story, right? My friend was talking to me the other day. He was like, "I saw." He was. He's like, "I went to the pyramids, and on top of the pyramid, I saw a pigeon." Isn't that, that is, it's like a hieroglyphic? Yeah, like exactly. The bird, the bird one. Exactly. It's like, what does that mean? So you're a hieroglyphics expert. Like, what does that? So you mean? see, uh, you saw a pigeon on top of the pyramid. I didn't. My friend told me he saw one when you were in Egypt. My I was in Egypt. My friend was. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, I think that that could probably mean that you got 
There's some good stuff that's about to happen to you in your life, man. I think that's a good well, my friend or, or your friend. Maybe you too. Because right, like right after that, uh, he was like walking on an escalator, and he, uh, yeah. He th- wow. Yeah, he was walking. Was on he the all es- right? Yeah. He didn't fall. No. He just was like walking on the escalator. That's great. Yeah. Right. Awesome, dude. Because yeah, like, I mean, yeah. like, if you think about it, like, escalators are dangerous. He didn't fall I at don't, all. I don't. I don't. I don't go near him. Exactly. Like I, I am anti escalator because you. Know, we all know. We all know that escalators are commonly used as a way to <laughs> injure and or incapacitate people of higher thought. Dude, what if I? What if I go all around? Like I go into the, the exactly. floor. Like when the fl- exactly. when the conveyor it's belt like comes you, around. What if I sink in? That's why I never take an elevator to the top floor. Because once it goes to the top, it goes to the bottom again, right? And how does that happen? It falls. Yeah. I don't want to fall. Yeah, exactly. I've never taken me. I've never taken an elevator down. I only take elevators up. Elevator upstairs down. That's what my dad taught me. Yeah, exactly. Um, that, and that's why actually, uh, if you ever look at an elevator, um, usually if you like look at the walls, there'll be handprints and stuff. Because what happens is uh, the elevator goes up, and when it goes down, it's falling. And people die. People are like, ah, they're yeah. like clutching at the wall. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, so um, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, but the pyramids are magical. You know, like the pyramid grants wishes like that, like safety on uh, escalators. It's that kind of, ma- it's that level of magic, which is a level that is not often seen in today. You know, yeah. that's actually very high. Le- people don't know this. People don't study magic. M A I G. M, sorry, M A G I C K. People don't study. I study that, so I know. I mean, are you, you you are a pagan, right? You you're a pagan. Oh yes, right. So oh, I mean, yes. and you're but you're a pagan Christian, of course, right? Uh, well, I am. I would I would classify myself as a uh, a Catholic pagan. Cath Catholic. Catholic cyber pagan. All right. So what was that? Can you show me, like, explain uh, to us? Because I know what that is. Obviously, I obviously, obviously. know what that is. But I'm asking how would, how would you, listeners. How would you have found me? Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, you, you're fa- you're a famous Catholic cyber pagan. Yes. But for our listeners, of course, what is what is being a Catholic cyber pagan? Basically, all about? that a Catholic cyber pagan is someone that watches that goes on YouTube a lot and watches a lot of like. Um, just like you know like spirit science and like and like cool just cool stuff like that like i'm smiling right now because i you know i'm just thinking about going on youtube right now and watching like oh man i've seen some crazy cool videos cool stuff YouTube. like that yeah. i basically that's basically like my practice that's my that's how i pray that's how i venerate my ancestors is i i go on youtube and i watch like uh like top 10 secrets of like the the ocean or something that's crazy man wait so like uh, have you actually watched the video like top 10 secrets of the ocean yeah can you clue me in that's a great one of the ocean yeah there's a big giant treasure chest at the very bottom (laughs) (laughs) i can't okay can can you stop filming him he's he's nervously he's breaking down he's nervous breaking down he's having a nervous breakdown right now He's having a nervous. We can't. Uh, he just can you pan for a bit? Uh, just don't make sure he's not in the shot right now. He's having a nervous breakdown. We don't. He's not used to. Um, he's not used to uh, being on air like this, being like held accountable. Uh, and it's 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 it's, it's nerve wracking. I I do it all the time. I'm always uh, I'm always out here. I'm always expressing my opinions. And I'm doing it freely. And like the first times I did this, I did crack a couple times. I cried. Actually, I went from the being moved by the raw power of, of like, fantasy. Uh, there's a lot of magic. I- there's a lot of there's a lot of magic in the room. That stuff, like, that, that's crazy. That stuff hurts. There's like a million like rubies and like sapphires in the treasure chest. In the treasure chest. At the bottom of the, the, bottom of the ocean, like a yeah. billion rubies. It's like a billion jillion. That's cr- yeah. See, and that's and that's the thing. You bring. That's why it's so valuable to have a co-host because you bring such valuable insight. Like I've never seen that video. 
I haven't. You should look it and up. I, I, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. Um, the other day I saw this one. There was this. Uh, it was like it was. It counted all the b words in the Bible, and then it like took the number three and like divided it, and then it showed like points, and then it mapped it out to some stars, and it was Jesus Christ. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, you seen that one? Of course, of course. Yeah, and then of there's. Of course, I've seen that one. And then it's like it shows you like the the curvature, of the dome, and it talks about the dome with a flat Earth. Uh, talks about. It talks about a lot of stuff, really. It's crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, but yeah, that's basically that's basically what I am. That's what I identify as. And I face discrimination too. Let me talk. Let me talk about that. I always have to put this tagline into the end. People don't accept us in the same way that like regular people are accepted in a society. I think the problem is where they accept other people too much. Yeah, like, like why are why do you like are you screaming about like Islamophobia and shit and yeah. like here's me. Exactly. I'm literally have I lived in this nation my whole life. I'm a Catholic cyber pagan and I don't have justice. Yeah, exactly. Like when are they going to start protesting anti Cyber pig, because you see, I'm not. I'm not a cyber pig. Better be soon. I, I'm a regular Christian. I'm a real Christian. And that being said, I'm tolerant. You know, I tolerate other people. And why can't those fuck uh, freaking uh, Islamists be as tolerant as I am of other people's race? Right? They always like. They always like. Oh, stop Islamophobia. But they never say. You know, stop cyber pagan phobia. I literally. See, I care about yeah. Christians, and no, I feel like sometimes I'm the only one that cares about Christians. I was at the b uh, bus stop the other day, and I got into, well, this this guy, like, was eating, like, Almond Joy, and I was like, can I have half of your Almond Joy? And he was like, no. And then I just started talking to him, because, you know, I'm, like, really, like, so friendly. social guy, I'm very friendly, and I told him I was a Catholic cyber pagan, and then I was going off to my, my group study at the library, and this guy... I I know you said not to use any bad words. Please don't. But this is what the guy said. Uh, you want me to you, like? Can you censor it? Mm hmm. Just like put a he star. Said, yeah. He said, "F you, buddy." F referring the F word. Mm hmm. The F bomb. Yes. <laughs> All That's because uh, That's and I didn't even do anything to this guy. I was being so friendly. That's so powerful. It's like when you it's like when you're on the street and you want to compliment a woman you, and you'll be like, "Wow, you look great." You know, you really look it looks like you work out or like you look really tight. And they'll be like, "Hey, you know, it's what the heck?" Don't say don't say I'm tight. Exactly. And they, and I'm just like Why? Like exactly like oh you know, if someone said that to me, I would be so I'd complimented. I'd be like, thanks, I'd be like bro. yeah, thanks. I'd be like, yeah, dude, I'd I do look tight today. Thanks. Exactly, but no, when when I when I uh, when all I do is ask a woman for her number, and don't stop until she gives me her number or if, or any just talks to me, and I just follow her, like, and they get mad at me, like that's a compliment. That's that's a compliment. Yeah, like women don't know how to take compliments these, these days. Yeah, these girls, man, they're crazy. Yeah. They're and crazy. then they're, they're always like, "Ah, oh, man," like they're ruining lives. You know, they ruin my life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, women. My life is completely ruined because of yeah. women. Exactly. I wish that my I wish that we had a planet just for dudes. Dude, yeah, dude, planet, no girls allowed. Yeah, dude, planet, no girls allowed. I'm thinking about that right now, and I'm Dude, thinking about how like amazing. In a way, though, like if you look at like the Bible, right? That's kind of what Earth is supposed that's to kind be. That's kind of what Earth is supposed Earth, to be. Earth yeah, was, uh, they were like they created Earth, and they were like, "Yo, dude, planet, no girls allowed." Well, there were girls, but well, like, no. Then there was a rib, and then they they took a rib. Oh yeah. And then they made a girl, and there was it was no longer dude planet. It was like people planet, and it was like right, like what are you doing? It's not as like, good as the first planet. one. It's like the sequel's never as good as the original. Exactly. I except the Bible too. Uh, the, the, the cyber You're pagan right. bible is pretty good you right um, I don't know if I believe all of it but the bible too the cyber pagan bible that has some good stuff in it that has some really that really brings some like new light into uh into it alright uh we're gonna we're gonna we have to uh, unfortunately take a bit of a 
a, a very um, it's it's time for uh, what is it time for? Um, so basically, uh, how the show works is we make money. We make a lot of money. We make like a lot of money from the show. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna we basically the way we make money is by doing uh, announcements from a public service announcement. So. This is an important public service announcement. So it's now it's time for a public service announcement. Oh, okay, so um, first uh, uh, you can read this 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 pur this public service announcement. Um, what well, actually came in? Uh, right on, brother. Uh, right this, on. This guy came. I actually came in from a Facebook group. I'm in. Uh, a really interesting Me, one. Yeah, uh, bring that bring that little girl over here. All right. So uh. Uh, here we go. Uh, so I'm gonna read my. I, yeah. I'm gonna read my public service announcement first. Okay, gotcha. Um, what day is it today? Today is uh, October twentieth. Uh, so we're gonna just uh, we're gonna read an October twentieth one. Uh, okay. One, our friends at Apex Technology Group would like to remind our listeners to please not text while you're driving. The National Safety Council reported that last year alone there were over 1.6 million traffic accidents caused by texting while driving. It doesn't matter how old you are or how much driving experience you think you have, it's never safe. But Apex Technology Group reminds me to stay alive. Don't text and drive for your safety and the rest of ours. This is important community reminder is from Apex Technology Group, an IT consulting firm in Edison. For more information on the services, you can visit them at online at apextgi.com. Reminding all of us to please be safe and responsible. They're on the air because they care. All right, so that was our first public service announcement, and now um, John is going to read okay. another public service announcement. I usually do a little bit of reading in the morning, but, uh, you know, big stuff. Machiavelli. Yeah. Nietzsche. Nietzsche. This is, but this is going to be just fine for me. One day, flat earth will disappear as a concept. Instead, there will be normal people and some weirdo globe believers. And that one was brought to you by um, Flat Earthers Facebook group. No trolls out there on the air because they care. Um, that is that's touching. That really is. Um, yeah, it's 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 amazing. Honestly, uh, thank you guys again. And they they paid you some good money for us to read that PSA. So uh, we thank you guys, Flat Earth No Trolls. Um, really, it's a great group. All right, we're gonna play a quick song right now. Uh, uh, this song, um, it's another cool, a uh, hip, uh, uh, song. It's called, uh, Dreamers. Um, I think you guys will like it. I think, I really think you guys will like it. back and we're back um and this is of course time for callers to call in if they want to call in 215-898-3500 um but we got some important news uh this actually just came in the other day um we have uh some important news that just came in the other day uh kim kardashian was recently seen in puerto rico puerto rico puerto rico yeah. this is how it's pronounced oh i'm sorry uh, how would you uh, pronounce that in Egyptian? How, like, how would you? What's the way to say that in Egyptian? I don't, I don't think they knew. Like, I don't think they knew that Puerto Rico existed. But like if like it, if it were to exist, like how would it be represented in at least hieroglyphics? Probably like back, back. But like in hieroglyphics. Oh, probably like stick, 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 bird, stick. That's something, something yeah. like that. 
That makes a lot of sense, actually. That, that actually makes a lot of sense if you like actually think that's about it. And that's just off the top of my head. You know, I could if I could, I had like a pencil and paper, I could like figure it out. You know, long division, and shit. Uh, yeah, it's mathematical language. It is a mathematical language. Yeah, um, it really is. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Kim Kardashian in Puerto Rico. Is that right? Did I say it? Puerto Rico. Puerto Puerto Rico. Um, so that's, a, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So Puerto Rico. Uh, what happened? She was there. Yeah. And then it got fucking destroyed. No, that was actually no. This, this was after. Sorry. This was like this was like last. This was like a couple days ago. This was oh yeah. She was just there. We're not talking about the no. Nope, no, we're not talking about the tornado. No, nope. the big old twist. No. Nope. Okay, gotcha. We're talking about Kim Kardashian being there. She was there. Yeah. That mean, and if she's anywhere, it's a yeah. pretty big deal. Yeah. It means something evil is happening because she's an evil woman. She thinks she so. Does evil. I things. was thinking she was like nice. She uses her body to 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 make men feel bad, think bad things. Yeah, that's honestly right. Because I'm. A it's just like uh, it's the same way I feel about. Um, are you familiar with the man? Uh, there was this kid. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Barack Obama. He's our president. Yeah, pre- well, he was your president. Maybe he was not my president. Okay. Right on, bro. He was not my. I president. respect that. And Barack Obama. He, n- I don't like him because every time I see him, I get he. I know he's a witch. I know he's a wizard or something. He's some evil succubus kind of type because every time I see him I get an uncontrollable desire to want to ravage him to want to take out his clothes and just right dude do you know what that is that's, I think he's a what is it that's classic class A voodoo magic that's what I'm thinking yeah because I I don't feel that way he's normally. from Kenya he was taught by the shamans of Kenya because I don't how to do that I'm not the type to get you know I, I'm not I am not attracted to men. I'm just saying when I see Barack Obama, or um, mainly, mostly a, like any black man or man in general, honestly, in a position of power, I get uncontrollably rock um, stiff. There's nothing you can do about that, man. Yeah, and there's not, and it's just like it's it's, it's, it's ma- voodoo it's magic, it's evil magic. It's voodoo evil magic. All and you can like do, you can wake up and you can pray. You pray to God. I do. I do. You can pray to God. I do. You never and give in. And it's like the same thing. It's like sometimes when I'm thinking about him, I, you know, sometimes I like like sometimes I'm not even looking at him. I'm just thinking about him, and I'm just like uncontrollably like, like I want him. Like I'm thinking about him right now, and I'm already like, I'm feeling like a little like strongly about it. Like I want. I want him. I want it. Really bad. Like, really bad. There's nothing you can do, man. But, like, right now, like, if he was in this room, I wouldn't control my... I wouldn't be able to control... I would just rip it off. I could hold you back. Like, right now, like, you telling me that you could hold me back is kind of doing it for me. It's kind of, like, making me feel I could stronger. M- I could not... I could just, like... Like, I want to... I could just be like, Alden, don't do it. I don't know if that would work. You don't think so? I don't know. If I was like, oh, then remember your Christ and the Bible. Remember that, man. Come on. I don't know if that would work. I don't. He's so powerful. It's, it's class A. It's cl- it's not lower class. It's not class B or class C. It's class A. Wow, you're really that's you're really st- under strong spell, man. We can. I know. That's we what can figure. The I mean, so what? the other day I tried some electroshock therapy. I put um one electric. I mean, not to get too graphic for our listeners. But I took one um, uh, pin and I put it on the tip of my, right here, um, of my right nipple. And I attached another uh, edge, uh, another one to, like, right under my scrotum. And then attached the third pin point to a car battery. And I tried to shock it out. Did it work? It only made it it worse, honestly. Ever since then, I've been uncontrollably... Like attracted. I know what I'm gonna like do. My it has not gone down. I know what I'm gonna do to help you, man. What? I I know a potion. A potion. I'm gonna make it for you. Will you, will you bring that to the show next it week? It doesn't taste great. I'm gonna be honest. You have to use a lot. You know, like the the dry erase like markers. Yeah. On the way. it uses a lot of those. But I swear to God, you drink this thing. 
and having sex with Barack Obama is going to be the last thing that you think about. It's going to be the last thing on your mind. I promise. If you just drink this potion. Do you want to do it? Yeah. I'll make it for I'll you. I'll do anything. All right. Next episode of the show, Alden's going to drink my potion and we're going to see if it works. All right. But there's other... I, I, my biggest worry, right, with potions, right, is will there be any transforma- transformative properties? Will I grow wings and or horns and or um, a third toe like will, I, will I have like a weird amount of toes like 10 if you did will I have 5 toes on each foot do you not have 5 toes on each foot right now how many toes <laughs> I have like 4 you have 4 toes on each foot yeah it's not all of them that's not good you need to have 5 I was born with 4 that's is that why when you when you were walking in here you were like you you couldn't really balance you were like I noticed you kind of have that little walk. I mean, yeah, it's kind of... Is it not normal to have four toes? No. I've never you seen another human's feet before, so... Can you can you tell me which toe it is? that You you have a big one? Is there... Are there do you have a toe? No, I just have four small toes. You just have four small ones? How big are your you toes? Have, are your toes I have big? A, I have a big toe on each foot, and it helps, m- it helps me balance when I'm standing up. I just have four small toes. I was wondering why you had those balancing... I mean, I can make you a potion for that, too. You really think so? I mean, I, I don't. I, but is it not normal to have? Four? No, I, no. I I've never seen another. All human's the, you're feet not. Before. You're not weird, okay? You're not weird. That's. Are you weird for having five feet on each? That I sounds weird. I don't think so. I, have you seen another person's feet before? What's that? Have you seen another person's feet before? Uh, I've never yes. seen. Oh, yeah. Most of them have five. Are you? Sh- are you? Sh- I mean, I'm absolutely sure that most. Yeah. Um, but you know what? That's okay. I don't think you're like a freak or anything. I'm still. I mean, I don't. <laughs> Do you want a hug? I mean, I would. I wouldn't mind if I. Like, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, look here. Let's bring it in, bro. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. So I don't think that. I don't think that it's weird that you have four toes on each foot. Thank you. And thank you. I think that. Thank you. That's actually really that sweet. It, that's um, really. That's really nice. I think you smell. You smell good. Was that weird for me to say? It? Is that weird for me to no, that's that you completely smell nice? fine. Take a whiff, bro. It's oh, okay. You're it's gonna like be okay. We're gonna, been we're gonna like a, like a, next like episode. Train. I'm gonna help you out, man. Okay. I'm seriously gonna help you out. Next episode, we're gonna get you more toes, and you're not gonna want to have sex with Barack Obama anymore. I promise. Are you that's sure? a promise. That I swear. What if what if the potion makes me removes the toe and then I have only three? It won't do that. What if it merges two of them into one big toe? It won't and do so that. So I have a big toe but only three toes. It won't overall. do that. I promise it's gonna work. What if it merges all five or four of my toes into one l- massive toe, a super toe, if you will? It's not gonna, dude. You need to trust me, okay? Don't be scared. You've never drank in a potion, have you? I n- <sighs> This is your first potion. Yeah, it is. I saw root everyone doctor. remembers their first potion. <laughs> you're gonna, you're never gonna. What if your first potion is, is a forget potion? You don't want a forget potion, bro. I don't. You want to remember this? What moment. if I had a potion before and I took a forget potion and then I, I mind erase? Yeah, I guess you might had have. a mind erase. Then it'll be like the same thing as experiencing your first potion all over again. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's pretty powerful. Yeah. All right. Well, so we're now we're over time. Um, right after us well, is uh, I don't like to say their name. Um, so if everyone, anyone is a Christian listener, please tune out right now. Um, okay. I'm assuming you guys have tuned out. Next show up is called Beat Bitches in the PM, uh, starring Miranda and Lily. Uh, don't know. They're not here right now, but we have to. Uh, they're we have late. To, they're late, but we have to get out of here. So um, we're just gonna play some songs. Uh, right, eight eight rising. Meets meets. Uh, we're gonna play some uh, cool. Uh, Actually, can I play a song? I'd like to play a song. No, we're not. I'm sorry, you can't play a song. Is that is that because it's, it's is it because it's my first day? Yeah. Okay. When when am I gonna be able to play songs that I like on the um, show? Um, you know, later. How how much later? Later, just a lot. Like next like next time. A lot later, just don't 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 wait on it. All right. Okay. Next up, beat that's bitches that's okay. PM. Good night. That was really good.
That was, you really did it. Thanks. Good job. I had a lot of fun. I think I did a really good job. It was my first time. I've never been on the radio before. Um, feeling good. Feeling really good. I'm gonna step out. I'm just gonna step outside for a second. The phone doesn't work apparently. Oops. We're just gonna step outside. Okay. I think, I think uh, we're going to do better next time, definitely. But I think, you know, he has a lot of promise. He has a lot of promise. And it might not have been exactly what I was expecting, but it was, it was pretty good. Oh, hey, uh, what's up? What's up? So I definitely think uh, I was expecting a lot more from John. Uh, he's iconic. He his blog is iconic. His poems iconic. Everything about him iconic. Um, but I guess you know, I forgot how hard it is to go out there and expose the truth. To go out there on the the radio and just start talking. You know, Alden was like, I have four toes, and I was like, What, dude? You're supposed to have five toes. Overall, John, he. Uh, I think I think we're gonna have success with the uh, with him as my co-host. I think he's gonna do a good job. Um, it, it was a little rough start. It was a little bumpy, but there's a potion next week. Uh, we're do, we're gonna be doing some great stuff. I really believe that. I really believe that he's going to really change the world. And also that end of the world status update thing, the end of the world letter I got. I don't know what was up with that, but I'm pretty confident. It seemed really official that the world is gonna end October 26th. So I'm worried about that. Uh, I think today went really good. Um, I've never been on the radio before, this is my first time, but I think I, I said a couple bad words that I wasn't supposed to say, um, but for the most part, I hope he invites me back next week. I'm, I'm super down to start getting into the nitty gritty of this stuff, saving the world, exposing the truth. Yo, I just wanted to thank, this is a special thanks to Alden for letting me take this. I'm gonna use this every day. Oh shit, sorry. Okay, it's gonna look really good when we do this. So let's just do this for like Sydney, all right? Like just for the documentary. Gotcha. All right. Good job today, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. You really I, I, killed I, it. I, um, I had a great time. Yeah, I, I think- I just wanted to let you know that all the, the swearing and the getting nervous and the laughing, if you invite me back on your show, it's not gonna happen, man. Dude, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crystal clean. I, 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 mean I know you will. You're gonna be, you're gonna kill it. You're gonna do really well. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna have you on next time. You're gonna bring a potion, and you're gonna, you're gonna do really well. Of course, bro. I'm not gonna let you down. I'm not gonna let you down. You won't let me down. So I have to go to um, the vet because my cat is dying. Have a great day. I just don't, I don't get why I would say something like that, like right before you left. That's really, uh, what are you thinking? I hope his cat's okay. <laughs>